Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. The problem with us, I'm Michael. Now, your real name? Javon? Javon. Javon. What we must understand as a nation, we will put her for a greater purpose. And I, I want to address, because he went over the French, but I'm going to show you how, just how important that is. Because you got that, Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. Read it. It's the book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 10. Bring it out. The problem with us as a people is we don't fear this. Read that. All the sinners of my people shall die. If we continue to sin, we're going to die. We continue to smoke. We continue to fornicate. We continue to drink. Give me Ecclesiastes 8.11. But for some reason, America has taught us that it's okay to keep doing that. It's okay to keep sinning. It's All okay right. to keep being wicked as hell. Right. The Lord said if we keep sinning, we go die. Right. Like. The, pro the problem is not, the, not the, uh, the Bible. The problem is us as a nation don't want to conform to what the Bible says. The Bible is right. Read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Read it. Because sentence against an evil work. Because we don't get jacked up right away. Like the officer was bringing out, his dad is suffering from damn lung cancer. I know people who don't have to have their legs cut off, that have to have go in and have holes cut in their throat because they didn't think that the, the most I would touch him, but he, he always gets our ass when we do stuff wrong. He gon' get it. Read it again. Come on. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Read. Because since it's against an evil work, it's not executed speedily. Because we don't get got right away, read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in their to the It's going to go down. Well, which side of the fish you want to be on? You want to be on the side of the people that's beating on the door trying to get in the ark, or you want to be on the ark, you know, ready, ready to get the hell up out of here? That's the decision you gotta make. Start in verse one. Come on. So the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 1. Go jump to verse 7. Let's get back to the read. Verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation. China is telling their troops, focus on getting ready for war. That's what's going on right now. President Trump is sanctioning the hell out of countries. What do you think those countries are gonna do? They're gonna get mad. You can't starve a dog for so long. He's gonna lash out. He's going to attack. That's why the Bible said, what read that again? For nation shall rise against nation. We're seeing that going on right now. Over there in Syria and uh, Israel, they've been fighting like dogs for years, and they still fight. Right. Nation is rising against nation. The water's rising, bro. Read. And kingdom against kingdom. Those kingdoms, they like uh, niggas on a, a larger scale. Check out my news. Check out my news. Are you paying attention to the news? Everybody is talking about nuclear weapons. That discussion, that, that's to put fear in the Negro, but a lot of people don't fear that. Right. They think that the most high going to get that ass, but he's coming. Right. Christ is coming. Read, come on. And there shall be famine. There shall be what? And there shall be famine. Venezuela has to make a decision to eat rice or beans. They can't have them both together. On one day, they may have rice. But on the next day, they can have beans. Because there's a famine going all throughout the earth. You, do you notice a lot of these, these uh, prime rulers, these 18 rulers, they're not pushing meat throughout the nation right now. We're in the middle of a damn pandemic. We walk around with masks on. You want to throw shelves that damn they're empty. What did that say? And there shall be family. Our people are going to start to be touched by these families. Read. And pestilences. And what? And pestilences. And sicknesses. COVID-19. Right. As in the words of President Trump, the China virus. The Kung flu. He pissing the people off over there. Pestilences. Now let's get back to the prison. Give me Zephaniah 1 and 8. This is why it's important. Because we're going to show you something in Isaiah, the 66th chapter. Christ is coming. Right. He says he's coming with his chariot and with fire. You think he's just going to... Okay, let me warn my people. He, he go, how are you going to identify his people? How are you going to know who his people are? You think he's going to get, get uh, uh, 
The woman walk around Spanish with her ass out, her breast showing. Read that, come on. So the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Read it out. And it shall come to pass come on. in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. He ain't coming asking no damn question. This ain't that white health of skeleton Jesus they got lined up in the damn Christian church. That ain't Christ. Right. Christ was a black man right. to the tribe of Judah. That's who's coming. Jeez. He looking at his servants now. He bad as hell. We all, the slaves is, is running around on the loose. We just want to be ruling the damn earth, but we don't, we don't want to put fringes on. Right. We, want, we don't want to stop eating pork. Right. We don't want to stop marrying outside our damn race. Right. We don't want to get it together. Why do you think they have laws against you marrying somebody else that ain't your, ain't your people? There were laws for that because they got it from the scriptures. Bring it out. You're not supposed to eat pork. You're not supposed to eat shrimp. You're supposed to dress a certain way. Read that again. Come on. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 8. Read. And it shall come to pass. It's going to happen. Read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. When Christ returns, read. Then I will punish the princes. Uh-huh. And the kings. That's, that's us. We the princes. We supposed to be the kings. He going to punish. Means some bad stuff going to go down. Read. And the kings took. Uh-huh. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel. Women wearing pants is strange apparel. Yeah. Right. Brothers not putting fringes on their clothes, strange apparel. You get you picking this up? Give me Sirach 19 and 29. Because how are you gonna identify yourself as an Israelite? As one of God's chosen people. It ain't like the uh the Israelis over there walking around them hot ass black suits on with them seat seats. That ain't what the Lord said. The Lord said put fringes on the border of your garment throughout your generation. Around your garment, not in the little strings hanging off on the side. No, he didn't say that. Read that. So, but it's a rock. Chapter 19 and verse 29. Come on. A man may be known by his look. An Israelite man, you're going to be known by the way you look, how you carry yourself. That's how you know like a, what a police officer looks like. That's how you know what a, a conductor for this bus looks like. They dress a certain way. Right. Read it again. Come on. Verse 29. Come on. A man may be known by his look. A man is going to be known by the way he dresses, by his look. Read. And one that had understanding. Uh -huh. By his countenance. You can be able to look at his face like that brother's got some understanding. He fears God. He's got his beard. He's got his fringes. He's carrying himself according to God's laws. Right. Read. When thou meetest him. Uh-huh. A man's attire. A man's what? A man's attire. A man's clothes. Like, if you notice, a lot of men walk around with them skinny pants on with their ass hanging out. That's not how a man of the Lord is supposed to dress and conduct themselves. Do you really think our people are getting taken serious? When they walk around like that? Right. Ain't nobody taking you serious. Right. Ain't nobody uh, gonna take Cardi Broke back and uh, Meg the Horse serious when they talk about WAP. Right. We don't take them serious. See? How's that role models for us as a, as, a, as a nation? It's not. It's detrimental. They'll put that garbage on the TV to keep you and you destroyed. That's right. Because they know, they know once you wake up and you come back to this Bible, game over. Yep. Game over. Yep. Read on. Come on. Bring and it out. As a leopard, and gang show what he is. Men always run around he he laughing. That, that's what weed does. Makes me run around he he laughing. Looks stupid. Makes it look dumb as hell. Now give me Isaiah 66 and 15. Bring it out. Up, it I forgot about you. That's what we need to understand. Christ is coming. He ain't coming to hug. He ain't coming to kiss. He's coming to bleed with flesh, with fire. All right. To destroy. So I, I, I get to get to the hell with that. No, bro. This your life depend on this. This ain't no damn game. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. Read. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. He will come with what? With fire. He's coming to hug everybody. With fire. That's the problem with the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We think everything's a game. They said the Lord is coming with fire. Read. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. With his chariots. He's coming with his chariots like a whirlwind. Read. To do what? To render his anger. To do what? To render his anger. To hug everybody. To render his anger. Oh, Newsflash. Voting ain't gonna work. Right. Voting ain't helping no damn body. They, the, the president took the damn mail sorting equipment out of the post office. They already tampering with the damn voting. What is voting going to do for black, blacks and Spanish and Native Americans? I will. What, what, what has it done for us? We will go and vote for our oppressor. Give me uh, Lamentations 4. We will go and vote for people that continually shoot us down in the streets. That ain't right. helping. But we won't stop killing each other, though. We some damn hypocrites. Let's fix us. We, we got to fix our problems. We can't expect another man to come in our community to fix our damn problems. We got to do that as men. 417. Read that. It's about Lamentations. That's Ezekiel. Get Lamentations. Bear with the we can't expect nobody else to fix what we broke. 
We got to fix it under God's laws that's fixed, man. Verse 17, read that. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. Read. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. Because you see it time and time and time on the, on the news. Ahmaud Arbery, the brother was jogging. Bernice Taylor, what was she doing? She was sleeping. Uh, George Floyd. The brother was calling for his mama. They killed that brother. You will see a, a white man can get out of a car and point a gun at people. Now, I've seen it. I've seen it on the damn news. They say race is not for race. It's a problem. Because they, they shot him with a non-lethal round, and then they put him in the hospital, and he recovered. Let your black behind get out of a car with a pistol. You don't even got to get out of the car. They will blaze your ass up. And we'll go, let's go vote. Vote for what? Then you vote for them. Repent. Keep God's laws. Don't, do, right. don't play with this. Right. Change you know. your life. Give me Romans 13. Romans 13 and 1. We got to understand. We were put here to repent. That's right. We were put here to enjoy life. That's right. That ain't what we were put here for. We were brought over here by way of cargo slave ship to get our ass right with God. Right. Not to be out here living like a lavish, luxurious life. Right. That ain't how it's going to go down. Read that. It's the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 1. Read. Let every soul be subject unto the higher power. Let every soul be subject to a higher power. Are you? You can't be subject to a higher power if you run around her high as hell and you get pulled over. Now you can't respond to the commands. You need to be sharp. You can't instruct your people on how to get out of the captivity they're in if you run around her high, drunk, inebriated. How are we gonna? How are we gonna do anything if we can't we can't function properly? We ain't thinking right. clear. Right. We can't be subject to the higher power. Read on. Come on. For there is no power but of God. God set these people up for us to repent. That's why we getting shot down. That's why we getting uh, our women filling abortion clinics. Because the men are out of order. The men are out of order. The men have to fix it. The women gonna fall in line. If you notice, when men start rapping, what do the women do? What do they do? They start rapping too, right? The men start selling drugs, what do the women do? Start selling drugs. And whatever the men start doing, the women right behind them doing the same thing. Is that not is that not what we see? Did you know this in the Bible? Give me first Corinthians 11. Then I'm gonna bring you back up. Bring it out. Read it. There we go. Come on. It's the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1. Because you black this kind of Native Americans, you know the, the Lord is about order. He's about order and structure. Read. Come on. Be followers of me. Even as I also am of Christ. You need to be following Christ, bro. Don't, don't put this off. This is not a game. This ain't no game. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.